Hey Google Workspace admins, welcome back. This is Goldie again. I recently heard from a few customers that they wanted uh, a way to track the license utilization and there should be a way for them to be notified in case if they're running short of Google Workspace licenses. Now, as of today, uh, I don't think there is something out of the box in Google Workspace which can send you emails when you're running low on licenses. So I thought to just use a bit of Google uh, App Script along with Google Sheet to make it a quick solution. So uh, let's talk about the recipe of the solution and then I'll show you the quick demonstration, uh, you know, where you can just simply copy my Google Sheet with App Script to make the solution work for yourself. So there will be three things in the recipe. First one is that we need purchased license quantity that you already have if you're using Workspace. Second thing that we need is the number of licenses that we have consumed so far. And then our, our formula would be, you know, uh, purchase licenses minus consumed licenses is equal to the licenses that we have today. And if they meet the threshold that we will define in our Google Sheet, then Google App Script should be sending us an alert that this is the right time to purchase licenses, okay? Uh, our solution, and finally, we need to automate it so that once we set it up, it just keeps on working by itself. So our solution components will be, number one, you will copy the Google Sheet with App Script that I'm gonna share in a few minutes now. And then you will enter the number of licenses that you have purchased. You will define the threshold, uh, on which you want to receive email alerts. You will also provide the email address where you want that alert to be sent. And then finally, we will set up a cron job so that this whole uh, automated uh, program can keep running. So with that, let me share my screen and show you what exactly you need to do step by step to make it work in your environment. Okay, so the first thing that you should do is go to this URL that's called goldierora.com slash license hyphen notifier. I'll put that in the description so that you, you can simply click and come here. Once you come here, you can see the video. This is the video that we are making it now. Once you come here, you will see this video. This is the one that I'm making it now. Uh, and if you scroll down, you will find the app script if you really need to just copy and paste script, but there is a better solution, you can simply click on this copy uh, Google Sheet button, which will take you to a page saying, this is how you can make a copy. Now, if you do not see this, and if you rather see you need access to this sheet, that means in your admin console, you have some sort of uh, drive sharing rule that is not allowing files with anyone with the link to be accessed. So you should better be checking uh, in admin console if you're an, an admin. Okay, uh, assuming you can receive files which, which are shared with anyone with the link, you will see this screen and you will just click on make a copy. And once you do that, it will copy the Google Sheet, including the Google App Script running behind it. Okay, so, you know, now once the sheet is copied, it has no connection with me. So it is just yours. So if you want, you can just, you know, change uh, the title and just leave the license notifier here as it is. Otherwise, if you change it, you will also need to change the script. Okay, so once you're here, just go to extensions, click on app script, and here you will see the script that came with this sheet and it also has license manager service installed uh, because that is required to call enterprise license manager api so when you run it for the first time all you need to do is just click on this run button okay and it will ask for your permissions for the first time so that you know it, it, it can get your authorization to read some data from license manager api and then write it back to our Google Sheet. So when I click on review permissions, it says this is uh, the authorization that you're providing. It should be able to view and manage your Google Workspace licenses. It should be able to create and edit delete sheets because we need to output data back to the sheet. And then finally send email as you because you need to send emails to your admins. Say so you will go ahead and click allow because after all, it's a local script, it's not connected to me anyhow, and the script 
is executing. Uh, uh, oh, the number of rows in the range must be at least one. Get license is code 39. Okay, 39, what does it say? Uh, okay, maybe by the time you're going to use it, either I'll fix it. Okay, don't worry. It's a, it's a first time error, so you can just ignore it, okay? Now when you go back, you will see that the first two columns are filled uh, by the sheet itself, okay? So it tells us the email address of the users in your domain, and then in front of that, it tells you which license is assigned. So if one user has multiple licenses assigned, you will see that user multiple times along with that specific license that, ha that has been assigned to that users. Okay, so now we have these in this information. What we will do next is we'll come here and just write a quick formula so that we can get some unique uh, license uh, SKUs here. So I'll say is equal to unique and uh, let's do this. And we don't need the header itself. So we will say start from uh, B2, okay? Now these are the SKUs that we have purchased so far. In your case, it might look a bit different. Now one uh, watch point is Google License Manager API does not report back the cloud identity free licenses, so you will not see them here. And after all, they're free licenses, so I don't think if, if it's concerned for you, but just wanted to mention it. Okay, now license procured, these are the numbers that you will be putting here, okay? So before that, let's put a formula here in our license consumed. So I will say is equal to count if and I'm saying count if this equals this, okay? And Google is smart enough to give me some suggestions here. So essentially what I did, I said, give me the license count of each of these uh, from these, okay? So now we have the license consumed, okay? Now, in terms of license left, it will be a simple formula. So first let's put just, let's assume we have purchased 20 licenses for all of them. So this is the number that you would have. Uh, or maybe here we can say we have purchased, uh, let's say 30 licenses, not 30, maybe, uh, let's say 38 licenses. Okay, and here this is called license left and every setting that you're doing here is just one time. So then you will say is equal to, so is equal to procured minus consumed. Okay, and let's drag it here. So now these are the licenses left. Email address to notify when the threshold is reached. Uh, so I would recommend you to put the group, group email address here. So that will create a Google group inside your admin console and put it here. For now, just to test it out, I'm gonna put my individual email address and I will say uh, the threshold is let's say uh, maybe 10 okay in your case all these figures might be different so what I'm saying is in case if any of these license left if they are equal or less than 10 then send me an alert saying time to purchase licenses okay so for now as you see all of them are more than 10 except this one. So maybe I can make it 40 for now. So now everything here is more than 10. So if we go back and run the script one more time, and again, everything that you're doing, all the setup here, it's just one time. And I'll show you how you can automate it in a minute. So now let me go to my email. Okay, so this is my mailbox. I don't have any email yet. What I'm gonna do is click on run. And because the license threshold uh, hasn't met, none of these is equal to or less than 10, which are which is our threshold. So I shouldn't receive any email. As you see, it didn't, okay? But now let's say we call it that we procured actually 38 licenses, okay? Or maybe 39 licenses. So our threshold is meeting for this specific license. So I'm in my mailbox here, and I, as you see, I don't have any email, uh, but because the threshold has reached here, so if I run the script again, 
I should be getting an email. So I click it again, it's executing. If I go to my mailbox, I just got an email saying, hey, it's time to purchase licenses. You're almost running over. When I click on this link, it takes me back to our Google Sheet, which means you also need to do two small things here. Number one, uh, take the sheet that you copied, like this is your sheet, copy the URL, and then go back to the script and here, line number 45, where it says sheet, this is still referring to my sheet, okay? So you should put, you should remove this line and then put your sheet, okay? Which is the sheet that you got after copying it. It is working fine, which is great, but so far we have done everything manual, like we need to really automate it. And to automate that, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is on your script, come to uh, on the left hand side, when you hover, it will show triggers. Click on triggers and here, maybe on the bottom uh, right hand side, you see add trigger option. Click on that. And here our function is get licenses. So let's just keep it as it is. Uh, choose which deployment should run, should be head. Now event source should be time driven. So you can select that. And here you can choose how frequently you want this script to run. I would recommend may maybe doing a day timer. So it runs like once a day, maybe every morning. So once you select day timer, then you can say run it every morning, maybe uh, somewhere around eight to nine when I come to the office. For now, just to show you how it's gonna work, I will better change it to the minute timer. And uh, let's do every minute and let's say notify me right away in case if script faces any issue. Now we just made a cron job, which will keep calling our script and it will just keep on running by itself. And when we come back to our sheet, you will notice that every time when the script runs every morning for you, these two columns will be updated, which means all the columns here, which are referencing to these two columns will also be updated. For example, SKU name, the, this will be updated, licenses consumed will be updated, licenses left will be auto updated. The only columns that, that will not be updating are license procured because these are static figures that you will need to put and also these two columns. Other than that, it's ready to work. So let me do one thing. Let's do, let's say we acquired 40 licenses, okay, which means the threshold is now not meeting 10. So we should stop getting these uh, emails, okay? So we, we are not getting any emails now, but now I will go back to my admin console, okay? And let me create a new user here and assign a, a license. And let's call this user license notifier, okay? License notifier, okay? New user, done, okay? Let's search for this user. Okay, license notifier. Let's scroll down a bit to license assigned. Let's assign the G Suite, not Google Workspace Enterprise Plus to this user. Okay, so essentially what would happen is as you see, currently 29 licenses of Enterprise Plus are consumed. That is making our headcount or the license left to 11. As soon as I, I assign this license, this 29 should become 30. The license left should become 10, which meets our threshold, and we should get an email. Okay, it, as you see, the script is running every minute, but we are not getting email because we haven't met the threshold yet. So I'll go and click on Save. Okay, this is done. Now, if you see, if I search for license, okay, notifier, I don't have it yet, okay? Now, we will wait for like 60 seconds or maybe earlier than that, This, these two columns should update and we should have license notifier here and this 29 should become 30 and this should become 10 and we should get an email. That's the power of Google Apps Group cron jobs because 
unlike a virtual machine which you set it and you know you need to keep running it every time with app script it's it's javascript in the cloud so you can just put it there and it keeps on running without the infrastructure need and as you see here uh, within a few seconds uh, now if i search for license notifier again you will see that we got it here at next script run it says enterprise plus which made our license consumption from 29 to 30 and uh, the license is left also reduce, reduced to 10 which meets our threshold and if i go back uh, we just got an email saying you know license uh, you're almost over uh, so i think uh, this is it just make sure you go to license uh, notifier uh, script editor and i think in line 45 just remove this line and put uh, the URL of the sheet where you want your admin to go when they click the link from email. And also, uh, I just added this because uh, you should also replace this. And for that, you can delete 47 to 50 uh, like this. Just make sure you don't delete the last this. What do you call it? Uh, it's uh, near to the exclam. It's left to the exclamation. It's like a back tick. Okay, and because that's a part of syntax, but you can delete this and replace it with your own stuff. I hope that uh, might help you a bit. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video or maybe under this blog post, and I should be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much. <laughs>